Hello everyone. I wanted to come on here and just kind of give you an update on what's going on with Giveaway Journal and just do a few things. Um, it has been so hectic at my house and I do have a house full. My kids are here, some of them. And so if someone comes in and interrupts, I am sorry, but um, that's just kind of what happens when you have kids over. Um, I wanted to show you the giveaway journal. I have this cover made. I was going to use it for mine and I decided to do it as the giveaway. It is a fabric and it is just absolutely beautiful and I love it. Um, I used this piece of lace and it's all I had left um, and I just loved it and I wrapped it around and it's one of those squishy covers that I told you I wanted. Um, the inside has this lace um, it was the very last piece, and I made a pocket. Uh, so you have a whole pocket inside here, and it's real flimsy. Like I told you, I wanted something real squishy and just um, good to feel in your hands. But once we get this full, you know, it's going to have some sturdiness to it. Um, I've made journals like this for myself before, so I know how it's going to turn out. Um, the pocket went a little crooked down here. Um which I was not happy about, but you can't really tell. Um, Katie keeps pointing it out to me because uh, she's just a little stinker, but um, I love it. I think it is beautiful, and I hope you guys like this. I did do an elastic, so it is like a traveler's notebook. It just comes right out, so you can take it out and work on it if you want to, but I think this is going to be flat enough that you can just leave it in. Um, this is the signature right here, the insert. Um, I'm only using coffee dyed papers. I wanted to keep it plain. Um, I didn't want a bunch of printed papers. So I used all my coffee dyed papers. Um, and there's pockets that's, you know, where I folded up the papers. So we've got them this way and this way. I want to try to leave this um, kind of not plain. I don't know how to say it. I want to put stuff in the pockets and I want to put stuff paper clipped on because I want to leave this for you guys to decorate. So I'm going to have all the embellishments done. All the tags will be decorated. You know, the journaling cards, everything's going to be decorated, but I want to put it in, you know, the pockets and everything where you can actually glue it down where you want to and you can decorate it yourself. So everything will be there and it'll be embellished, but you can finish it the way you want to. So that's what I'm wanting to do because everybody likes their journals different. Um, you know, some people might not want the pocket here. Um, now I will do some things like, you know, I'll do the inside cover. Um, I always like to do a library card. Let me see here. Let's get this pocket. So I always like to do a library card in the front. And let's do a green one since it's Christmas. So we'll do a green library card this time instead of a white. So, um, yeah, even though we have a blue cover with the snowflakes, which I love, there is some blue that we're going to see throughout the kit. I'm going to use a lot of pink paper peppermints this time. Um, I am going to be using some of that traditional, no, it wasn't traditional Christmas. What was it? Home no, what was it? Um, I showed you the Mrs. Cobb's um, journaling cards. Home, what was it? Now I don't know. But it was the um, it was the family Christmas ones. And then I had the nativity. I'm going to put some of the nativity and some of the other ones that was like the family Christmas pictures. I'm going to use some of those in here also. So there's going to be... Um, you know, a lot of the traditional colors in this. So it's gonna have everything. It's not just gonna be blue. So you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna mix it all together and it's gonna turn out um, nice, I think. So I do wanna use the green for Christmas colors in here. Um, I have picked up a lot of different supplies and um, I had Miss Katie pick me up some flowers today. So we have, a lot of flowers to work with. I've got some white and some red poinsettias. I've got some gold ones here. Some gold flowers that I'm just going to take apart the middle 
because you know we don't need the middle for the tops of our tags. That's what I'm going to use these for. So they're just going to be really, really pretty. And that idea come from Melissa on uh, Pink Paper Peppermints. If you don't know about her, go check out her channel. She's amazing. Um, but this is the journal that it's um, going to be the giveaway journal. So you'll get to see this one come alive. I don't know how many videos that I will be doing. It has just been so busy around here. It's been hard for me to actually do any videos. And um, I've been very, very uninspired. I'm still suffering with crafter's block. I mean, I'm really struggling. I have not done nothing except journal in my own um, faith journal. That's it, which is this one right here, which I'm just in love with this journal. It's just so fluffy. It's frou-frou, that's what I call it, but it's just full of goodness. You know, I can journal my own faith journal, but that's, that's it. It's like I cannot create anything. I don't know what's going on with me, but today I do feel a little inspired, so I want to kind of run with this and you know, I told my husband, I was like, once I get in the mood, I will not stop. So, just don't expect me out of the craft room anytime soon <laughs> once I get started. But I picked this up, or I actually had Katie pick this up for me because I have two other ones. And these things are awesome if you have a Dollar Tree near you and you can find one of these. But it's a five-piece organizer. And that's like, sorry. Um, I'm going to kind of do a little quick setup for some of my supplies. So I thought I would show you guys this. Um, I had not seen these, but they are with the like kindergarten supplies when you go into my Dollar Tree and they're with like right beside of the pins and stuff. But you can take this out. Um, they're all separate. They just have these little lips on them and they just kind of sit there. But you can take them all out and you've got five different ones. So the way I use mine, I have think I can reach mine. Hold on, I'll show you another one I got. And this one stays like this, but this one is my, um, it's got all my uh, tags and stuff that I'm using for my vintage uh, wallpaper and my French ephemera. And I keep this for where I'm doing my wallpaper tags and stuff. And so this is all my collaging in this one. And so in the very bottom, have all my little pieces of stuff. So that's what I use this one for. And it stays just like this. And so I wanted another one because I wasn't gonna empty that out. And so this makes three that I have. Oh, oh, sorry, hit the tripod. And so this one is just gonna be for um, my Christmas stuff right now. And then I can change it out because I won't always have Christmas stuff in this one. So I think I'm gonna keep this for whatever I'm working you know, on my desk, and then I can change out my projects with this one. So, um, I'm going to, there's my son. He's trying to interrupt my video. <laughs> so, um, she's the best in the world. Thank you, You're baby. Watching it. Thank you, baby. You so, tell. okay. Thank you. I'm going to do a little quick setup. I love watching these videos. So mine won't be nothing like everybody else's, but I just thought I would show you guys what I'm planning on doing. So with the um, kit that I'm using, what I had done is I got these little um, boxes at the Dollar Tree, which I think these are perfect. And I had made a bunch of envelopes and I tucked my top down inside. That way I can just look inside of it to see what I got. And I will show you the template I use. These are Artie Mays. Um, envelopes and this is a free envelope um, one of her freebies which I love this envelope and I use it all the time in my journals um, this I just love the coffee splatter look but anyway I use it as a template and what I do is cut out a bunch of my book pages because you know we have tons and tons of book pages so I cut mine out and um, you know I don't care if they're thinner, of course, these are pretty sturdy, but I use them to hold my ephemera pieces and stuff. And you know, once they get wore out, you can throw them away and make more. Um, and now I've got a lot of people wanting them. My mom uses them, uh, Katie uses them. You know, they're just, they're absolutely perfect, but they fit perfect in this little um, 
crate that you, you know, this wooden box that you get at the Dollar Tree. So I had started putting all this kit, you know, and the bigger pieces in the back and I'd lined them up like this, okay? And that was perfect. But now I wanted to do like some of my little bits and pieces that I'm gonna be working with. Um, and then I can put my bigger pieces down here. So for these pieces here that go with the kit that I'm working on, I'm gonna just drop some. These are from Pink Paper Peppermints and I don't know what year this kit was. Um, I know I made a journal in 2018 with this kit, but it's like a whimsical Christmas, I think. Um, and I don't know if this is even on her website. I didn't see it. Um, I think this was one of the goodie bags we got for participating in my heart of Thanksgiving or something. But I love this kit. It's just so cute. And I can't reach all those I dropped. So I will get them later. There's a couple of them. But I'm going to put these bigger pieces at the bottom because I will get to those when I go to decorate some of the tags and stuff later. So I'm just gonna put all that at the bottom for right now. Um, at the top, I wanna put all my little goodies that I'm working on. So, um, let me get them all out here. Cause I have lots of little pieces that I need to be able to see. And they're just in boxes everywhere. And I've got this little box I got at the Dollar Tree last year. And it has all my little Tim Holtz ephemera that I'll be using in this journal to decorate some of my tags. And I could dump them in here if I wanted, but since it's in here, I'm gonna leave it because that gives me an empty container for the things that I need. Because um, I do need to keep that container open because I have drawers full of stuff, guys. Drawers. And then I have like these little bows and I've got my little jingle bells, which I need and my little snowflakes that I want. And I have a bunch of little glitter that I made up last year. It's um, confetti and glitter all inside. And I'm gonna wanna use that because I wanna make a shaker card. Oh, I should show you my snow globe. And then I have bigger jingle bells. I don't know if I'll need the bigger ones. I think I'm just gonna use, well, those are the same size. Those are my little ones. Well, I've got tiny ones somewhere, so let me get this out. Um, I have these really tiny little, um, well, they're like ornaments. But I'd like to make, make some bead dangles for the journal. So I want to keep those out. I love this little pen container, this vintage bit pen container from Ben Franklin. It was 59 cents. So I found that and I put that in there, or those in there. Um, here is some more of the cute little, um, what do you call them? Uh, snowflakes, I think. So let's start getting stuff out here. And I do have some of these, um, the plaid poinsettias, the poinsettias, 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 what are the dog? Um, and I have some of this um, vintage pom-pom trim, which I don't think I'll use this time. But I have a vintage, no, it's not vintage. I want a vintage. This is just a cigar box that I purchased when I was on vacation because I thought it was pretty. It's a Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, it's got some of my trims and stuff that I'm going to be using. So, and that's just some of it. I have so much... Um, it was given to me last year in Happy Meal. Oh my goodness, I was so blessed with all that. And then I have some of these bows. So see, I need a bigger container just for all my bows and ribbons and, okay. So here is some of my buttons that I wanna use. Let's down here. Let's see, got my buttons back there. Um, I have all these little flowers. I'm gonna take these out. So that way I can just grab them. And I do have some of the plaid right here. So I'm gonna keep these out so I can just grab a hold of them. And I think that might be it in this drawer. Oh, there's those little green pom-poms. I'm not using those. And 
and of course I've got more but from there. I think that's what I'm gonna put in. I do want to use some of these bows, but I had smaller ones. What did I do with my small ones? Oh, they're right here. And I think I need to take all of those off the back and I'm gonna throw them in this container. This little let's turn this around. I can see it this way. What I'll do is throw them in that. I wonder how long that would take. Okay, so while I'm doing this, um, I was going to ask you guys. Well, for one, I'd like to know what you guys have been up to and how you're doing. Um, it's just been, like I said, really hectic here. I've had a lot of doctor's appointments, so I've been going a lot. And then my kids have been over here um, a lot, so I've had a lot of company. And so when I have company, I can't really craft and I can't, you know, do any videos. So that's um, made it difficult, but, you know, I'd rather my kids be here. And um, I just really enjoyed them being here. I'm going to put a couple of these, ones, these big ones in here, too. So these are nice for... Um, the toppers on your tags. I like those for the top. So let's do that. And then I do need to organize, like I said, all of my ribbon and things that's in the, you know, on the spools. And then I have a ton, and I mean a ton of the ribbon and lace, and or not lace, well I've got lace, but the ribbons is wrapped up like this. Tons of these that I need to get out and organize those as well. So I don't know how I'm gonna do those. And I think I will, how will I do these? I've got, I think I need another little, you know what? I'll just put a couple of the red and green in here with the gold. And then I'll just have red, more red, because I wanna make some, jingly things. We've got to have some of that in the journal. So there we go. Okay. So now I've got all of that in there. And so anything else that I need to add, I can just add, um, these buttons have snowflakes on them, which are really cute. So I can just add more things as I go in here. Let's see what all this is. So see, here's more of the, I just have a ton of these. Maybe I could put them in this little container here. And I've got my eyelash trims here that I purchased recently. That right there. And then this is from Denise's shop. Uh, Tatter Dream from last year. So I'll put that right there. So yeah, I need to put all of those, I think, in here. But I, have that. I could not find any Christmas napkins at all in my stash. I had one, this print right here. Well, I have four of them, but this is the only print I had. I have no Christmas napkins to do decoupage with. I was going to do some collaging on some tags, and I had no, none, none, and I went to the Dollar Tree. They don't have them out yet, so I have no Christmas <laughs> napkins. I was like, how in the world do I not have that? But I don't. So anyway, that's how I'm going to keep all my little supplies. Like I said, I can add more. And they don't have to stay in this, but I like them in this because it keeps it together. And then I could just pick it all up and get my things out of the bottom and work with that. And then this is all my little um, little bits and pieces. What I will do with this is I'm going to get my um, little crate out and I will get another um, envelope, which I have over here in my drawer. And then I'll just add all my bits and pieces that I want to work with. Well, that's cute. So see, here's some felt pieces. They will go over here. I'll put them right there. Then all these little pieces, you know, I'll just put them right here in this envelope and just add it to my, um, my little, what is that? Just a box, a crate. It's just a little box, but now I can add it to that. And then I've got all my ephemera bits right there. Right. These are all like 
what are they called? They are, oh, what is that? Chipboard. These are chipboard. So, there we go. That's cleaned out. Yep. Okay, so these are chipboard pieces. So, I'll just sit those right there so we don't lose those. We might need those. So, that's how I've got all that. And then I just need my, um, all my ribbons and stuff fixed up. There we go. So, now I've even got my Tim Holtz stuff in there. So, that's pretty organized, I think. And, of course, I have a lot more supplies. But this is just what I'm going to work with for the giveaway stuff. And then just get all of these out. And then all my others like this. And I think I'll just shove them in here. I've got, like I said, a lot of those. Which I can get some out. Whoops. Keep hitting the tripod. And I can just stack them. Get that stuff out of there. I need to get a longer one for this, but this is just an idea and these are all unraveling. There's another piece of that. I love that stuff. That is my brick rack. And that one, I don't want that one. I don't want this one. Okay, that'll be good for now. I think we're good. I think we've got plenty. What do you think? So, I'll just put that in this for now until I find a longer one or something. That gives me plenty to pick from, don't you think? I think we're good, guys. I think we are good. You guys are going to have a nice, fluffy, full giveaway journal. What do you think? Are you excited? I'm excited. Okay, just a quick update letting you know what's going on. And I am still getting to it, I promise. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you soon. Bye.